Well, here we go. So, Tick Watch Pro. Yeah, there's a lot of press about this one, and I've been having Bluetooth issues with it. And here's an example. So we open up the Wear OS app, and Bluetooth disconnected. To reconnect your watch, tap Reconnect and accept the pairing prompts on your phone and watch. Uh, this happens almost once a week. I'm on not that old of a phone. This is the uh, Pixel. Okay, it's a Pixel 1, so it's almost two years, but this one that I have is actually only about 10 months old, and it's been working great. Click Reconnect. And I know it's not my phone because I've had, before I had this watch, I had the Samsung Gear, and that one worked great. So now it should be paired here any moment. And while we're, with it, we're waiting for this, so I'll give you a review on the battery. It's not that great. Uh, if you don't use it, put it into airplane mode and disable notifications. Yeah, you can get two days, maybe three. But if you go into the essentials mode, you step back to the year uh, 2006, 2007, when Fitbit first came out, and you get this analog electronic ink display, which is great. You get the time of day, and you get steps and the date, and oh, you get heart rate when you manually initiate it, and that's about it. So no, it's still not reconnecting. So essential mode is not that great. Might as well just get a Timex watch. So really disappointed in that. Even if you preset alarms, the alarms still don't go off. And Samsung uh, Gear 2 and Samsung, uh, even, yeah, so all the way back to 2016, Samsung's been able to do that. So kind of disappointing that TickWatch Pro or the TickWatch E doesn't, well, TickWatch E doesn't do the essentials mode, but. So I was really excited for a 30-day smart watch, but if it's just tracking steps and manual heart rate, yeah, that's not worth it. That's not a $300 watch. So I don't, I don't know what's going on here. So now it's not connecting at all. So we'll go to Wear OS and Try and connect. Check my device. Sure, pair. There we go. Third time was the charm. Well, there you have it. Uh, the apps, the apps good. Yeah, the Wear OS app is good. Uh, one thing that's really lame: notifications. So you notice filter watch notifications. You have to tell it which apps you want to block. So by default, everything's enabled and your battery will wear out in half a day. So this watch is, yeah, it's up there with the Apple Watch. Uh, actually, I was getting a longer battery life on the Apple Watch when I used it as a smartwatch. So I, I talked to tech support and they reviewed the settings. If you're very, uh, what's the word, picky and very limited on how much you use the watch, yeah, you can get two days. But with normal usage, you're probably going to get about a day and a half to a full day. Also, Wear OS or the TickWatch app is not tracking sleep. Oh, it looks like it's getting near uh, time for bed. My Pixel just went into black and white mode. But here's the MoV, MoVoy app. Pretty cool, not bad. So I went into essentials mode earlier today and I turned off notifications and I put in airplane mode for about three hours. So it's been a quasi smart watch for six hours and it's only dropped 3%. So when it's not constantly connected to your phone, it does get a really good battery life, but yeah, so I, I really, I'm using it for cal calendar notifications, 
text, alarms, uh, phone calls, and Scrabble, you know, this one right here, great app. Words with friends. But uh, other than that, yeah, I don't know. Uh, hopefully uh, they'll augment their technology here pretty soon. But uh, I give this still a rating of about 6 out of 10. That's all for now about the Tick Watch Pro.